you're having a look at Google Keep with me. And what we've got with the update a couple of weeks ago, dare I say, that if you go and edit an image, then you'll see this little um, yellow rectangular type thing. And it is made by not guessing, but actually using a grid. And that's what the purpose of this session is all about. It's to say, is there a use, number one, to be aware of the Google Keep grid? And if it's any good, how do we actually get to use it effectively? Now, playing around, we've got, as you can see on screen, a square grid. I'm trying to get my finger in there a little bit better. Oh, excuse me, squeaky clip. Change the grid to a dot except and we've now got a dot i prefer this one and i'll tell you why in a second or two top right click change the grid to rules this is really interesting because although we're using a photo rules is very very good when you've got a blank page and i'll come to the blank page in a second what was the other one was it something like uh, square dot rules or none now here's one tiny demo and that is that if we look in and let's just say I wanted, oops, to, let's go back in. I wanted to make a note of where those blotches were. Now, if I try and do a circle, which I can easily do, and that is if I go to edit, of course, if you're used to Google Keep, and I can click and I can erase that, can't I? Yeah, here it go, it's gone. Now, if I wanted to... There we go, I'm in. Now, if I look at the area, because I've got the dots over the top, the moment I go in for a pen, shall we say, I can actually get an idea that I'm actually using the dots as what they should be intended for, and that is a guide. And then, of course, if I wanted to change that at any point, I can click it and move it around. So if I wanted to say, well, actually, I'm gonna move that over there to move that one down there and that one over there and then I can come back and what you actually see now is that when the photo opens you've actually got this highlighted area but it's just done on a um, a gridded dot if you like so the other thing was that if we're coming into something and you are looking at a white screen if I took the grid off this is, again, you know, my personal perception here. And that is when I've been messing around before, when you zoom into white, you really don't know what's going on because all you see is a ton of white. However, if you w wish to show the grid again, this is why I prefer the dots at this stage. You've also got some context of what you're actually trying to do. So if I go over to say something where I'm going to do a perfect, I don't know, diagonal, maybe that whatever that actually is then I can come and zoom back out again I've got some context and some dots literally on the page if I wish to I could come along and I think you know you get the idea with this at the moment and that is that where I've um, taken a piece of Google Earth screenshot shall we say and I've gone around and started to to look around the outsides I think it's I would say I was going to use the word professional a little bit more better if you more better that's really great english language isn't it that's hilarious but you can see that there's a little little square in there that i did before but oh shouldn't have done that Gra grabbing image text is awesome but it's not something i wanted to do um if you're still here what i would say is that if you go in to edit the drawing first then you go over top right and change the grid to dots then what you'll start to see is that, that little square that I was talking about is actually one um, little square made up of one dot, should we say, wide and one down. Um, interesting, interesting thing. That was Google Keep Android Mobile to do with the grids. Remember that was, what was it? Um, squares, dots, lines, and none at all.